So this problem is asking us to find the pH of a solution. So we are going to remember that pH equals the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. And I have to remember that this concentration is always in moles per liters. So there has to be enough information inside this problem for me to be able to figure out moles per liters because I need that to find pH. So we go through this and we keep reading. We see 37.97 grams of hypochlorous acid. So I'm going to write down 37.97 grams of hypochlorous acid. So I need to figure out what the fudge is hypochlorous acid. I remember that he's aight because he's with us. So when I see us, I know that used to be an it. Chlor it. There we go. Hypochlorite. And if I consult my table of polyatomic ions, I see that hypochlorite is merely ClO with a minus one charge. I know because it's minus one that that means that that thing needs one hydrogen because the hydrogen is a plus one cancel it out. So we're going to put an H because remember it's an acid, hypochlorous acid. Acid means H comes first. H-C-L-O is hypochlorous acid. Easy enough. I also have 5,442.5 milliliters of water. Now if you so chose, you could go ahead and convert that into liters I'm going to leave it as milliliters. I'm going to show you how to do this the factor label way, but it doesn't matter which method you use, all right? I'm going to do that because I already know my answer needs to be moles of solute per liters of solvent, and our solute is going to be HClO, and our solvent is going to be H2O. So all I've got to do is go uh, convert the top to moles and the bottom to liters. So this is going to be a two-step problem. I don't think I'm going to make it look like this. I'm going to extend this step out just a little bit further there. Milliliters goes up top. Because I'm trying to cancel it out, I'm trying to go to liters. There are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Gone, gone. I'm left with liters on the bottom, and that's what I wanted. Hey, all right. So if you had done the decimal moving, you wouldn't have to do this step, because yours would already be in liters on the bottom. But you can see how factor label shows you what you need to do to get your answer, right? There's no guesswork about it, no trick to it. Now I've got grams on top, I need moles on top. So I'm going to put grams on the bottom. Grams of hoclo, heclo maybe, uh, hypochlorous acid there. Uh, we're going to go to moles of hypochlorous acid. A one always goes in front of moles. And the periodic table is where we get grams. So when I go look at the periodic table, hydrogen is 1.01. We label hydrogen. We're going to add to that the chlorine, which is 35.45. And we're going to add to that oxygen, which is 16. And if I did all that correctly, I should get 52.46 grams per mole. I can also just pull up Google. It is something I've Googled recently, and we get 52.46 grams per mole. Check. So that goes in front of grams, because it is a molar mass. Grams is mass. has to go in front of grams. Gone, gone. And the only thing I'm left with on top is moles, and the only thing I'm left with on bottom is liters. Liters of H2O, of course. So now we plug this into our calculator. Our trusty, dusty calculator. We hit on. We go 37.97 times 1,000 divided by 5442.5 divided by 52.46 uh, equals zero. I'm going to put three decimal places down on this, and I'm going to tell you why. One, three, three. I'm actually going to leave the whole thing in my calculator because that is not my answer. 
That is moles per liter. That is only step one here. Step one is we've got to convert to concentration. We've got to get a concentration out of this. Step two is now that we've got concentration, we realize something. It says here, assume all the acid dissolves and dissociates. What that means is when I take HClO, or hypochlorous acid, and I add it to water, what it's actually going to do is it's going to break apart in solution. And we're going to wind up with a bunch of H pluses floating around, H plus ones, and a bunch of chlorite ions also floating around. So this thing right here is going to bring out this. And we assume all of the hypochlorous acid, all of it, is going to move into H plus. So that concentration that we got above up there, that will also be the H plus concentration. We calculate it as a concentration of the acid, but it's actually also the concentration of the H plus. 0.133 moles per liter. So to find pH, all I have to do is take the negative log of that number, 0.133. I left it in my calculator, so all I have to do is hit log and then hit the negative button. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Um, and close parentheses on mine, and I get 0 0.88. And now I'll round, and that's the answer that I get. Now some of you may have rounded, you may have plugged in the log of 0 0.133 and you get, well, you also get 0 0.88. But the log, oh wait, 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 I plugged in the wrong thing, 0 0.13, there we go. You might get 0 0.89, but you know what, those two are close enough together, it's all good. Now the number one mistake I see people using when they do this on their calculator, I'm going to show you my calculator right here, is they think that this, uh, excuse me, this button over here is the negative button. It's not. Notice how it's next to add and subtract and divide, right? That is a minus button. The negative button on my calculator is down here. It's next to the decimal place, and most of them usually are. So make sure whenever you're using your calculator, you use the correct button for minus, because if you don't, you'll get the wrong answer. So the negative button on this one is right next to the decimal place right there right next to the decimal place. So make sure you use the right negative button, otherwise you're going to get the wrong answer. That's how you do a basic pH problem right there. Work all the even problems for the homework. Oh, and by the way, while I'm on it, while I'm thinking about the homework, uh, if I jump over here real quick and I look at the pH problems worksheet, and I scroll down here to the bottom, hey, there's a 0 0.88 right there. That's weird. All these random numbers, there's a 0 0.88 in there. Super weird. I wonder why that's there. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, one other thing about pH, real quick, one last thing. One last thing. I know, it's always another thing. You'll notice there are no units on this. There are no units for pH. pH is a unitless number. That's why a lot of people consider it a scale, because it doesn't have any units assigned to it. So it is something we measure, and it is measured in voltage, when you read it off of an instrument, but then you convert that into a unitless number here. Um, and it's because of a logarithm. A logarithm can't have a unit to it. So that's kind of an interesting fact for you. Anyways, uh, that's how you work a pH problem. Make sure to round all these to two decimal places.